Hello and welcome back to Ariseworks. You are watching the workshop on attributes and wraps inside of Houdini. And in this particular video, we will talk a little bit about attribute transfer, attribute blur. And as a bonus, we will, we will make the poly bevel uh, take into the account of um, take into the account our transferred attributes. And as you can see, we have uh, this a little bit of pattern going on. And as a bonus, another one, we can even animate it. So as you can see, the poly bevel affects and grows and shrinks differently based on the color that we transfer from another geometry. So without further ado, let's get started. As per usual, we'll begin with dropping our geometry. And by the way, if you see that everything is black, it's because uh, if you press the D key while hovering your mouse over the viewport and go to background, you can switch from light to dark. So we can see a little bit better. And I'll drop the grid. And here it is. Um, I will make more rows and columns so we have more resolution to work with. And um, so I will make it black because again, the attribute we will be working with just for visualization uh, will be the color attribute. Of course, it can be anything you want, but you know, for ease of uh, like for ease of perception of the learning knowledge, so to speak, we will be using colors for now. Next up, I'll be dropping a box and I will like uh, press this magenta uh, button so we can see the wireframe of what we will be working with. And the box, I want to uniform scale a bit less and then we poly extrude, poly extrude and uh, it will be individual elements and we'll make like this sort of cross thing going on, right? And uh, we will make this color white. So as you can see, this thing is black, this thing is white. So as you might have already imagined, we will type attributes transfer. And if we connect the geometry that we copy to and copy from, you will immediately see that, well, our grid is fully white. And this is happening because in the conditions, the distance threshold is set to 10. If we decrease that one, you will see immediately that, you know, uh, it, it shrinks down. And so yeah, <laughs> there is that. Um, so now that we have this, and as you can see, we have like the two point attributes now, the color and the position. Uh, let's see what we can do with the poly bevel. So I shift enter the poly bevel and as you can see the distance of poly bevel, first of all, I think I'll make it work on the points. I'll zoom in a little bit and change the camera ca camera position. So as you can see, if we poly bevel the points, they, you know, um, become like this diamond uh, diamond texture going on, diamond pattern, right? So as we discussed previously, I think it will be interesting if we could control with the attributes, with the color, the distance of the offset of the bevel. And we can do that by going here and scale by attributes. And as you can see right now, it says P scale. It's the default one. We delete that. And as you can see, there is this CD. And after we wrote the CD, if we change the rounds from round to solid, you will immediately see that indeed everything that has the attributes and has the white color has been offset. And everything that had uh, black color, you know, remains untouched. However, um, I think that this uh, kind of like the the way we transition from the uh, black non-pattern to white pattern is a bit janky. So it would be like um, it would be a good idea, in my opinion, of course. Uh, so we 
had these uh, color blurred and the transition will be like the gradient transition it will be a bit more smooth so it is done with attribute blur and we drop it right after the attribute transfer and if we enable that let's see what we have so first of all we have to change the attribute from p to cd and immediately we have some results uh, the step size and the blur iterations they're kind of like working uh, together so you can tweak one or another doesn't really diff, um, makes a difference. So basically you define the step size and uh, increase the blurring iterations, you know, that would be like the more, more or less straightforward way of controlling this. And if we go back to our polybevel, you will indeed see that some things that have been black have not been affected. And then we go whiter and whiter and whiter. And, uh, you know, our our bevel offset grows. And obviously you can make like the poly wire uh, to make it, you know, look like you know, some sort of a wire that has different uh, patterns through it. Or So um, the other thing that can be done with this particular setup, as you might have already imagined, uh, we can actually transform, and I'll just drop a transform between, uh, I mean, before, right before the attribute transfer. So if we will make this um, geometry transform in some fashion, for example, rotate around itself, and uh, we will do, what is it? Yep, I think it will be in the Y axis. Let's write, dollar t multiplied by nine i think it will go through our animation it will yep it loops so this is useful dollar t multiplied by nine to 20 240 frames it will loop on itself anyway so you will see immediately that effect that is causing right so with attribute blur of course it inherits the colors and obviously polybevel will change the gradient as it moves and as you can see it does indeed change the um the amount of the bevel offsetting and yes if you convert it to polywire of course it will change as well and if you subdivide it um, one or two times maybe uh, it will be looking more smooth and um, so this is the result kind of we were going for now before like you rush out and start doing things i just want to tell you this is probably not the best solution to do this kind of motion graphics effect because it will possibly lack the smoothness that you might have been expecting because um if we just animate this part, you will see that um, since this is geometry-based effect, uh, because we are just transferring attributes based on the resolution of the grid, essentially, uh, it really depends on the resolution of your geometry. So the effect like this could work if you have more resolution. And then you select the points. Like if you have resolution four times this one, you select one of the four points and bevel them. That would be like, make it more smooth. But a better way would be actually to work with ramping the, uh, the attribute, the color in our case, and working with the ramp because it's uh, a smoother version of this one. But we will talk about ramps in later videos. Um, however, uh, you can, use this uh, to create interesting looking geometry designs like you can twist it bend it it will look kind of interesting as you can see uh, modeling this thing will be not the best experience i would say um, so making it automatically like generate this particular thing on itself it's it's um it's you know it's very useful <laughs> it saves a lot of time and of course, don't forget that you can actually, like, uh, I don't know, make uh, make another poly extrude, right? Oops, a little bit maybe smaller with the 
with the inset like this. I don't know. So basically, you can do whatever you want, right? And the results will be like you, you can, like you can construct any geometry you want, and then you can just uh, transfer attributes, and it will work just fine. And of course, uh, if you have like um, different geometries, you can transfer normals, you can transfer pretty much anything like velocity, p scale, whatever. In our case, we are just transferring the color and make this color control the beveling. Uh, so there is that, right? So play with this, uh, play with attribute transfer, a really kind of straightforward thing. And uh, with a little bit of practice, I think you can find a lot of you know, uh, applications for this technique because it's really easy, you know? So hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like what you see, press the like button. If you don't want to miss anything else, don't forget to subscribe. If you have ideas or suggestions, maybe questions or something, I try to read the comments. Don't forget to leave the comments under the video. So again, this was the Rise Works. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next video and have a nice day. Goodbye.